So let me reiterate what she said. She said if a predator is above the penguin looking down, that black back is going to blend in with the bottom of the ocean, right? Okay, so make sure I got it right. If the predator is below the penguin looking up, its white belly will blend in with the sunlight. Okay, Juna, there's another reason why penguins are black and white, though. Yeah, it's another function that they have. If you've ever worn a black shirt on a hot summer day, you'll know that it absorbs the heat. These penguins, if they're ever cold, they can turn their backs towards the sun so that their black side will absorb the heat. They can turn around if they're feeling a little warm and reflect the sunlight a little bit as well. So, so thermal regulation. regulation. If you've ever gone into the bay and you ever think a sea lion is waving at you because it has its flipper out of the water, it's thermal regulating as well, heating up the blood that's in that flipper. Side note. Yep. It gets very cold in the water, so it's a uh, very important part. Why I stay out of it. Yeah. <laughs> Have okay. any other questions? Yes, sir. question so juno we did talk these penguins are from south africa so um however a lot of us when we think of penguins we think of penguins that are in a very very cold temperatures so with those kinds of penguins let's say a king penguin or an emperor penguin would they be able to survive in a climate like these penguins well in here these are the african black-footed penguins they prefer this kind of temperature uh they probably would not do very well if they were used to the snow and ice like the emperor penguins who live in antarctica or in cold areas like that uh, we there are about 18 different species of penguins slightly debatable depending on who you talk to but about five or six of them live in antarctica and the ice and snow so you've probably seen a lot of movies that have penguins in cold areas that's why we tend to think of them like that but not all penguins live in that kind of climate yeah, so our penguins here, they could actually withstand an air temperature of about 100 degrees as long as they still have that nice cool water to jump into if they do get a little too warm. Yeah. All right. Well, I think we have time for maybe a couple more yeah. questions. Okay. Yeah. Yes, sir. Fantastic. So this is a two-parter. Mm -hmm. Can Eric recognize the penguins just by looking at them and do they have names good questions and yes to both eric has been looking at the penguins for a long time they can identify which one is which if they need a little cheat sheet you can look on their wings they have bands around their wings and that will tell us two things if it's a black band or that's a female if it's a white band it's a male and the names that you were just asking about are all on those bands as well, so you can find out which one is named what. They all have very interesting, unique names as well. They do. For the most part, they're all named after places or things in and around South Africa. So, for example, we have Sokoe in there. Sokoe is Swahili for hippopotamus. And then we have uh, Mac, which is Monterey Aquarium, and she was one of the chicks born here. And then we also have Ray for Monterey, also born here. It looks like Eric and Billy are still going, but we're... Probably getting ready to wrap up. Yeah, I would say, how about we try this? Why don't we invite people to come up and ask us questions, and that way they can continue to enjoy the feeding yeah. without our voices ringing inside their heads. That totally works. Let's okay. at least give them a big round of applause to the feeders inside.